communism is when Freemason. Okay, I think you're missing the point, my dude. They've always used these societies to infiltrate nations. They didn't have that in Russia, so they had to infiltrate through the radicals. So for those of you who didn't catch the comment in the first video, that was a person saying that Russia has never had Freemasonry, and somehow that ties into communism. So Kami Trucker made his video about that comment, and then the original commenter stitched that video. That's the second guy. And doubled down on his claim that there's never been Freemasonry in Russia. That's why radicals had to import communism into Russia. Honestly, that's a new one even for me. A Freemason. So I'm not debating the pros or cons of communism in this video. But if you're going to make the claim that Russia has never had Freemasons, somebody should probably tell the Russians and the Freemasons. Because there's been Freemasons in Russia since the 1700s. So Freemasonry was first introduced to Russia through foreign officers in service to Russia. And one of the first Masonic lodges in Russia opened in St. Petersburg in 1732. And Masonic lodges in Russia operated openly until Catherine the Great started to crack down on them in 1785. Once her son Paul I took the throne of Russia, lodges were able to operate again openly and freely for about three years. And then, of course, he started cracking down on them again. Lodges later thrived under Alexander I. There's rumor that Alexander I may have been initiated into Freemasonry, but there's no actual evidence for that. The first Grand Lodge in Russia was opened up in 1815. Alexander would later outlaw Freemasonry and other style clubs in 1822. But Freemasonry experienced a revival after the first Russian Revolution, until Lenin's party closed all of the lodges in 1917. Later we see lodges open back up, and this causes another formation of a new Grand Lodge of Russia. The Grand Lodge of Russia was formed in 1995 and still operates to this day. Here's their website, translated by Google. In 2008, a second Grand Lodge, the United Grand Lodge of Russia, opens up and is still in operation. So again, if Freemasons have never existed in Russia, someone should probably tell Russia and Freemasons. And if you're going to use yet another Freemason conspiracy theory to argue with someone why communism is bad, remember, Google is free.